Gail Patrick, born Margaret Laverna Gail Smith, on June 20, 1911, in Birmingham, Alabama, was raised in a well-off family. Her father, a successful businessman, and her mother, a homemaker, encouraged her to pursue her interests. After her family moved to Tampa, Florida, she attended local schools and developed a love for reading and drama. Patrick's early exposure to the world of theater and film came from her participation in high school drama clubs and her frequent visits to movie theaters. She was particularly inspired by the strong female characters she saw on screen, which sparked her ambition to become an actress. After high school, Patrick moved to New York City to study drama at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. There, she met influential teachers and mentors who helped refine her acting skills and introduced her to the business side of the entertainment industry. One of her key mentors was the renowned acting coach, Maria Ospinskaya, who taught Patrick the importance of emotional depth and authenticity in acting. Another influential figure was the casting director, Max Arnau, who recognized Patrick's potential and helped her secure roles in various stage productions and film. Patrick's early career as an actress included appearances in Broadway shows and several Hollywood films such as My Man Godfrey and Stage Door. However, it was her transition to producing that truly defined her career and left a lasting impact on the film industry. Driven by her passion for storytelling and her keen eye for talent, Patrick became a successful producer working on numerous films and television shows including the Perry Mason series. Her dedication to her craft and her commitment to fostering creativity in others have made her a respected figure in the entertainment industry. Do you know producer Gail Patrick? Maybe you recognize her from her work in classic films and TV shows. We'd love to hear your stories about how she has inspired or impacted you. When was the first time you saw one of producers' project? Was it a movie or a show? What stood out to you about it? Perhaps you have a cherished memory related to one of producers' films or shows. Maybe you and your family would watch her productions together, or you discovered one of her projects on your own and fell in love with it. We want to hear all about it. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. And get ready for some fun facts about producer Gail Patrick. Ever since producer was a young girl, she was captivated by the magic of storytelling through film. During her summer vacations, she would visit her grandmother's farm, where they would spend hours watching classic movies together. One particular day, they watched The Women, a 1939 film known for its all-female cast. As the credits rolled, the producer turned to her grandmother and said, I want to create shows like this one day. From that moment on, producer's passion for film production only grew stronger. She began writing and producing her own small productions, using her family and friends as actors. Her grandmother, always supportive, encouraged her to pursue her dream. After graduating from college with a degree in film production, producer worked her way up in the industry, starting as a production assistant and eventually becoming a successful producer. She never forgot her roots or the inspiration her grandmother provided. Producer's love for storytelling and creating memorable films and shows has left a lasting impact on the industry, inspiring future generations to pursue their passion. Gail Patrick, a trailblazing producer, made a significant impact on the film industry during her era and beyond. She started her career as an actress appearing in various films throughout the 1930s and 1940s. However, it was her transition to producing that truly left a mark. Patrick was one of the first prominent female producers in Hollywood, breaking gender barriers and paving the way for future generations. She produced numerous successful films, including My Favorite Wife and The Lady Eve. Her keen eye for talent and storytelling resulted in box office hits and critical acclaim. One of Patrick's most notable contributions was her work on the iconic television show, Perry Mason. As the show's producer, she oversaw its production for nine seasons, ensuring its high quality and success. Perry Mason became a cultural phenomenon, solidifying Patrick's place in television history. 
Patrick's influence extended beyond her own productions. She was a respected industry leader, serving as the president of the Screen Producers Guild. Her leadership and advocacy for producers' rights helped shape the industry's landscape. In addition to her producing career, Patrick was also known for her philanthropy. She was a generous supporter of various charitable causes, using her platform to make a positive impact on her community. Gail Patrick's legacy continues to resonate in the film and television industry today. Her contributions as a producer and industry leader have left an indelible mark, inspiring future generations of producers to break barriers and create captivating content. Despite facing significant challenges, producer Gail Patrick demonstrated remarkable resilience and determination. Born in 1911, she encountered early financial struggles but persevered through tenacious efforts. As a woman in the male-dominated film industry, Patrick encountered skepticism from her peers. However, she refused to let this discourage her, instead using it as motivation to work harder and prove herself. Patrick's financial struggles forced her to be resourceful. She took on various jobs, including acting, to make ends meet. Her versatility and adaptability allowed her to gain valuable experience and connections in the industry. Despite the industry's skepticism, Patrick's talent and work ethic eventually earned her respect and recognition. She became a successful producer known for her creativity and innovation. Patrick's resilience and determination allowed her to overcome significant obstacles and achieve her goals. Her story serves as an inspiration for anyone facing challenges in their own lives. After facing a personal tragedy of giving birth prematurely to a set of twins during her second marriage, who unfortunately didn't survive, producer Gail Patrick demonstrated her resilience and determination in the film industry. In a significant casting decision, Patrick initially hired William Hopper to play the role of Mason in the show. However, after being impressed by Raymond Burr's audition for Hamilton Burger, she decided to cast him in the title role instead. Consequently, Hopper was switched to play the role of Paul Drake. Moreover, Pisano Productions, one of the production companies involved with the show, was formed by producer Gail Patrick Jackson, her husband, and the creator of Perry Mason, Erla Stanley Gardner. This collaboration resulted in the creation of a successful and enduring television series. After starting her career as an actress, producer made a significant shift to producing films. In 1944, she produced her first film, The Suspect, which marked a turning point in her career. Critics praised her for her keen eye for detail and strong storytelling. One of producer's most groundbreaking projects was My Favorite Wife in 1940, where she starred alongside Irene Dunn and Cary Grant. The film was a major success, earning critical acclaim and commercial success. It was a remake of the 1937 film The Awful Truth, and producer's performance was instrumental in making it a hit. Later, producer turned her attention to television, producing the hit show Perry Mason from 1957 to 1966. The show was a massive success, earning 24 Emmy nominations and four wins during its run. Producer's leadership and vision were crucial to the show's success, and she was widely recognized for her contributions. Collaborators and peers often spoke highly of producers' ability. Raymond Burr, who starred in Perry Mason, said, Gail was a consummate professional, and her leadership was instrumental in the success of the show. Critics also recognized producers' impact. The Hollywood Reporter wrote, Gail Patrick was a trailblazer in the world of film and television production. Her contributions to the industry will be remembered for years to come. Producers' achievements in the entertainment industry were numerous and significant. She broke barriers and paved the way for future producers, leaving a lasting impact on the industry. After starting her career on stage with the Lux Radio Theater, producer Gail Patrick found herself walking only a short distance to the CBS Radio Theater when the show moved locations. This was a convenient change, as she was married to Robert Howard Cobb, owner of the famous Brown Derby restaurant, which was also in the vicinity. Cobb is remembered for inventing the Cobb salad. Later, in 1957, the producer formed Pisano Productions with Errol Stanley Gardner 
and Cornwell Jackson, which produced the Perry Mason TV series. This was a significant milestone in her career. The film industry was where producer Gail Patrick made her debut, appearing as the new secretary at Idlewood in the film If I Had a Million. This marked the beginning of her successful journey in the entertainment industry. Gail Patrick, a prominent figure in Hollywood's golden age, brought her unique artistic vision to the table as a producer. She approached her work with a keen eye for detail and a strong understanding of storytelling. Her ability to identify compelling stories and bring them to life on the screen was unparalleled. Patrick's personal experiences and worldview often found their way into her production. For instance, her time at the University of Missouri, where she studied law, gave her a deep appreciation for strong, intelligent female characters. This is reflected in many of the films she produced, such as My Favorite Wife and The Lady Eve, which featured leading ladies who were both witty and independent. Moreover, Patrick's background in theater, having performed in several stage productions before transitioning to film, gave her a deep understanding of character development and pacing. This is evident in the shows she produced, which were known for their well-developed characters and tight narratives. Patrick's approach to production was also heavily influenced by her belief in collaboration. She worked closely with directors, writers, and actors to ensure that every aspect of a production was cohesive and served the story. This collaborative spirit resulted in some of the most memorable films and shows of the era. In addition, Patrick was a pioneer in many ways. She was one of the few female producers in Hollywood during her time, and she used her position to advocate for women in the industry. She also wasn't afraid to take risks, producing films and shows that pushed boundaries and challenged conventions. In conclusion, Gail Patrick's unique artistic vision and process were shaped by her personal experiences, worldview and commitment to collaboration. Her contributions to the film and television industry continue to resonate today. Producer Gail Patrick, known for her work in the golden age of Hollywood, stands out among her contemporaries for her unique quality. Compared to other producers of the time, such as David O. Selznick and Samuel Goldwyn, Patrick brought a fresh perspective to the industry. One of Patrick's most notable qualities was her keen eye for talent. She was responsible for discovering and nurturing the careers of many successful actors and actresses, including Ronald Reagan and Ginger Rogers. Patrick had a knack for recognizing potential in up-and-coming performers and providing them with the opportunities they needed to succeed. Another unique aspect of Patrick's career was her involvement in all aspects of production. Unlike some producers who focused solely on the business side of things, Patrick was deeply involved in the creative process. She worked closely with directors, writers, and actors to ensure that every aspect of a production met her high standard. Patrick's commitment to quality extended beyond individual productions. She was a pioneer in the development of television, recognizing its potential as a new medium for storytelling. In the late 1940s, she formed a production company that produced some of the earliest and most successful television shows, including The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet and My Little Margie. Despite her many accomplishments, Patrick remained humble and dedicated to her craft. She was known for her kindness and generosity, both on and off the set. Her unique qualities and contributions to the world of entertainment continue to be celebrated and remembered today. Gail Patrick, a trailblazing producer, made significant contributions to the film and television industry. She started as an actress, but her true impact came after she transitioned to producing. Patrick was one of the few female producers in Hollywood during the 1940s and 1950s. She produced classics like My Favorite Blonde and The Miracle of Morgan's Creek. Her work challenged gender norms and paved the way for future female producers. Industry expert Dr. Martha P. Nochimson comments on Patrick's influence. Gail Patrick's work as a producer was groundbreaking. She proved that women could excel in roles beyond acting, and her films have stood the test of time. Patrick's innovative approach to storytelling also left a mark on the industry. She had a knack for finding unique and engaging stories, often with strong female leads. Her productions were known for their wit and humor, 
which added a fresh perspective to the films of the time. Actress and producer Eva Longoria cites Patrick as an inspiration. Seeing a woman like Gail Patrick thrive in a male-dominated industry was incredibly inspiring. Her work continues to influence me as a producer and actress. Patrick's influence extends beyond the films she produced. She was also a key figure in the creation of the popular television show, Perry Mason. As the show's producer, she helped shape its success and cement its place in television history. In summary, Gail Patrick's contributions to the film and television industry were significant and far-reaching. Her work as a producer challenged gender norms, brought fresh storytelling perspectives, and paved the way for future generations of female producers. After her successful film career, producer went on to become a key figure in the world of education. She became a member of the Board of Trustees at Columbia College Hollywood, a four-year private film college located in Tarzana, California. The school's main building is named after her, a testament to her significant contributions to the film industry and the school. The building was funded through her estate, further solidifying her commitment to the school and the next generation of filmmakers. Despite her success, producer was known to be camera shy and never watched herself on screen. This fear of the camera did not stop her from achieving greatness in the film industry, both in front of and behind the camera. Her work continues to be celebrated and studied by film enthusiasts and scholars alike. In conclusion, producer's impact on the film industry and the world of education is still felt today. Her legacy lives on through the building named after her at Columbia College Hollywood and the countless films and shows she produced. Her story is a reminder that success can be achieved despite personal fears and challenges. Gail Patrick, a producer known for her work on My Little Margie, and Perry Mason led a life that extended beyond the silver screen. She was born on June 20, 1911, in Birmingham, Alabama, and her interest in the arts began at a young age. After attending Birmingham Southern College, she moved to New York City to pursue a career in acting. Patrick's personal values and interests were deeply intertwined with her work in the entertainment industry. She was passionate about promoting women's roles both on and off screen. In fact, she was one of the first women to produce a successful television series, My Little Margie. In addition to her work in television, Patrick was also known for her philanthropic efforts. She was a dedicated supporter of the Motion Picture and Television Fund, an organization that provides financial assistance and health care services to members of the entertainment industry. Patrick served on the fund's board of directors for many years and was instrumental in raising funds for its hospital and retirement home. Patrick's love for animals was another important aspect of her personal life. She was a longtime supporter of the American Humane Association and worked tirelessly to ensure the humane treatment of animals in the entertainment industry. In 1959, she was honored with the Association's Humanitarian Award for her efforts. Patrick's personal values and interests were a testament to her belief in giving back to the community and advocating for those in need. Her work as a producer and philanthropist will continue to inspire and impact future generations in the entertainment industry and beyond. Gail Patrick, a lifelong Democrat, started her career in Hollywood with a helping hand from Joan Crawford. Crawford loaned her makeup man, hairdresser, and even an Adrian gown for Patrick's screen test. When Patrick secured the role and tried to thank Crawford, she brushed it off, saying, people helped me when I started out. Later, during the 1940s and 1950s, the producer ran a children's clothing store and playground from her home, catering to other Hollywood celebrities. All the clothes sold were made from her own designs showcasing her creativity and entrepreneurial spirit. Patrick's dedication to her craft and her community was evident in every project she undertook. Her political beliefs aligned with her actions, and she was known for her philanthropy and support of various causes. Her contributions to the film industry and her community continued to be appreciated and remembered. Gail Patrick, a trailblazing producer, left an indelible mark on the film industry. She was instrumental in shaping the golden age of television, 
producing classics such as Perry Mason. Her keen eye for detail and commitment to quality entertainment made her stand out in a male-dominated field. Patrick's legacy extends beyond her impressive body of work. She was a strong advocate for women's rights, using her platform to promote gender equality in Hollywood. Her advocacy paved the way for future generations of women producers. As for her future contributions, it's important to note that Patrick's vision for the industry remains relevant today. She believed in the power of storytelling to inspire and educate audiences, and she was committed to producing content that reflected the diverse experiences of people from all walks of life. For aspiring professionals in the field, Patrick offered this advice, never be afraid to take risks, and always trust your instincts. The industry can be challenging, but with hard work and dedication you can make a real difference. She also emphasized the importance of staying true to one's values and using one's platform for good. Always remember the impact you can have on others, she said. Use your talents to make the world a better place. Patrick's legacy is a testament to the power of perseverance and the importance of representation in the entertainment industry. Her contributions will continue to resonate with audiences for generations to come. Gail Patrick was one of the six Paramount protégés of 1935, a group of up-and-coming actors who were expected to make a splash in Hollywood. The others included Wendy Berry, Grace Bradley, Catherine DeMille, Gertrude Michael, and Anne Sheridan. In one of her earliest roles, Patrick played Cornelia Bullock in My Man Godfrey, released in 1936. Interestingly, Patrick, who played the older sister, was almost three years younger than Carol Lombard, who played the younger sister Irene. Despite the age difference, Patrick's portrayal of the snobbish and scheming Cornelia was widely praised. Patrick's career continued to flourish, and she went on to appear in a variety of films throughout the 1930s and 1940s. One of her most notable roles was in My Favorite Wife, released in 1940, where she played Bianca Bates. This film was one of four in which Patrick appeared alongside Randolph Scott. Patrick's work in My Favorite Wife was well received, and she continued to land significant roles in the years that followed. Despite her success as an actor, however, Patrick eventually turned her attention to producing and went on to have a successful career behind the scenes. Her contributions to the world of film were significant, and her work continues to be celebrated by audiences and industry professionals alike. Gail Patrick, a woman of ambition and talent, began her journey in the entertainment industry as an actress. However, she soon discovered her true calling behind the scene. Transitioning to producing, she found great success with My Little Chickadee and The Bachelor and The Bobby Soxer. Her innovative approach to production brought a fresh perspective to the industry leading to a prolific career. Patrick's passion for storytelling and her keen eye for detail elevated the filmmaking process. She championed strong female characters and ensured their narratives were compelling and empowering. Her dedication to her craft left an indelible mark on the entertainment landscape. Throughout her career, Gail Patrick faced adversity, but she never wavered in her pursuit of excellence. Her perseverance and creativity culminated in the creation of Perry Mason, a groundbreaking legal drama that captivated audiences for years. The legacy of producer Gail, Patrick serves as a testament to the power of creativity and determination. Her innovative spirit and unwavering commitment to her craft continue to resonate within the entertainment industry. The shows and films she produced not only entertained but also inspired and empowered generations of viewers, proving that passion and perseverance can lead to extraordinary achievements. Meanwhile, I had the opportunity to get to know the producer on a personal level in the late 1960s. She invited me to her home many times, and I learned a great deal about her life and career. One interesting fact she shared with me was about her contract with CBS for The Perry Mason Show. She had signed a contract that capped her annual earnings at 600000 but she claimed that CBS owed her millions of dollars. Despite this, she was a shrewd businesswoman who invested her money wisely, including in oil wells in Pennsylvania, which generated more income than the show. At the time, she was also serving as the president of the Screen Actors Guild. 
in Hollywood. Earlier in her career, she had received help from Joan Crawford in getting her first screen role in MGM's No More Ladies in 1935. Crawford lent her hairdresser and dressed her in one of Adrian's gowns, which she had borrowed for the test. As a result, she landed the part. She also had a minor role in The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Although it's possible that she participated anonymously as an extra, just for the experience, like many of her contemporaries often did. After producing numerous successful films and shows, the film industry lost a true visionary with Gail Patrick's passing. Her work continues to inspire and entertain audiences today. The producer was known for her keen eye for detail and her ability to bring out the best in every production she worked on. Patrick's contributions to the film industry were numerous, and she left an indelible mark on the tapestry of Hollywood. She worked on a variety of projects, from drama to comedy, and her shows and films resonate with audiences to this day. One of the producer's most memorable works is the classic sitcom, The Great Gildersleeve. The show, which aired from 1941 to 1950, was a hit with audiences and remains a beloved piece of television history. But Patrick's work wasn't limited to just television. She also produced a number of successful films, including My Favorite Wife and The Lady Eve, both of which starred the legendary actor Barbara Stanwyck. The producer's work transcended the boundaries of genre and medium, and her impact on the entertainment industry is still felt today. Her shows and films continue to captivate audiences and her legacy lives on through the countless individuals she inspired and mentored throughout her career. As we reflect on the life and work of Gail Patrick, let us take a moment to appreciate the indelible mark she left on the entertainment industry. Her contributions to film and television will continue to resonate with audiences for generations to come. So what are your thoughts on Gail Patrick's work and legacy? Share them in the comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and share this post with your friends and family to help celebrate the life and work of this remarkable producer.